We're drafting again. I'm cool with this purchase. All right, let's see what we got. I do like Gast Bark Twins. Mm. Shield Mare. Can't be blocked by red creatures. Okay. Oh, Spark Trunk Dragon's nice. What's this? A Psy Master Thopterist. Huh. I mean, I might just go all in on the Gas Bark Twins, man. I like I like seven sevens with Trample, man. Gearsmith Prodigy is another really good one in the blue artifacts deck. We got an Aerial Engineer. I like the idea of snagging up this. Is there actually anything good in this deck? This is, this is a pretty mediocre deck. Spark Tongue Dragon is very cool, but I probably want to round out with that. So when I'm looking at this, I see a potential tool for an artifact deck, a potential tool for an artifact deck, a potential tool for an artifact deck, and I and I can only pick one, so I'd be passing the rest. This horse is fine. It's not not great. Start off with the gas bark twins, like that. This could be really nice to just pick up right now. Sky March Blood Letter is one that I really like quite a lot. Angel of Dawn, I think, is okay. Gallant Cavalry is really nice in Red White Aggro. Don't want this one. I think Poison Tip Archer is going to be our, our money pick in this particular situation. Elvish Rejuvenator, okay. If I want to get eager again, I'm just going to Elvish Rejuvenator again. <laughs> But let's actually look at what's here and just let's ignore. Luminous Bonds is really good. That's really good. I mean, we could just ignore these two and go into white. Bonds, I think, is the best pick. Every every bone in my body wants to get the Elvish Rejuvenator, man. Yeah, I'm bad at drafting. I don't give a damn. Oh my god, look at how look at how rewarded I get. This is fantastic. I think I might get a Saturn Enchanter right now. Makes me wish I'd taken that Luminous Bonds, huh? Let's give this a shot and see what happens. Okay, what is this pack? What a terrible pack. Defender with Reach. Oh my god. Everything in here sucks. I think Boggart Brute is actually the best card here. Or Omen Speaker. One of these two. I'll take the Boggart Brute because I think it's the best card. Drew to the Horns is certainly really nice. Elvish Rejuvenator. Now, I think what I might do is not get the enchantments and just go for the Elvish Rejuvenator. Ignore the Satyr Enchanter. I think, that, I think that makes sense, at least to me. Dude. They're setting ourselves up A+. Plus. Dude, okay, like, like this is... Well, getting Manolith and or an Elvish Rejuvenator. Yeah, I'm just I'm just gonna secure my identity as a Rampy Man. Now we could also just snag up the Foul Orchard. Has good synergy with the Elvish Rejuvenator. Lets us splash Bogger Brew. I don't think we're running. I think we are not. We're pretty committed to, uh, we're pretty committed to ramp. Do any of these feel good to ramp into? No, I'm actually going to take the Foul Orchard. Alright, cool. Our Talon's a Wildwood. Wheelioed. Well, those cards are just very mediocre. Do we want to take the Forsaken Sanctuary? We have a ramp and the best mana possible. 
Oh, I'm thinking, yeah, I'm thinking, hell yeah, man. All right, this is this is me just wishing to have a fun time with the drafting, and I think I'm succeeding so far. Let's get an epicure of blood. Oh yeah, some menace zombies. Oh my god, yeah. Ooh, wall of vines, I guess. Ooh yeah, bog stomper. Thank you. What is this? Wait, what? Elvis, and these are elf druids. I mean, I think this is still a bad pick. I think we got a luminous bonds problem where we just literally have to do it. <laughs> okay. Uh, I also think Gravedigger is a legit good pick here. Two headed zombie. I'm gonna draw out. Hmm. So we want huge dudes, man. And Lich's Caress. We have really good mana. Dude, with the with these two and the Elvish Rejuvenators, yeah, now we just need the things to curve into. Man, Vampire Sovereign and Lich's Caress. Oh, God. Alright, Lich's Caress I think we take. I think we just take Lich's Caress, right? Destroy. Destroy a creature. It's too, it's too good. It's too good. Okay, what do we, what do we have here? I think the Sky March Bloodletter is probably the thing that tickles my pickle the most. Even Electrify, but I'm not going to be that crazy. I mean, Sky March Bloodletter is a completely acceptable and strong hand. We have a Neonate. I mean, if we can get Neonate and Epicure of Blood, these things can win games, man. I don't even know if we're going to run this Talons of Wildwood or this Satyr Enchanter. I'm not, I don't think that committing to that is, is good. Sack? No, we don't really have a target for this. I kind of like this Neonate, man. I kind of like this Neonate. I think that of the cards here, Spark Tongue Dragon is nice, but I'm really starting to dip into black pretty hard. Do I really want to stay black? Yeah, I think I do. I think I do. I think it's just pretty much this dagger back basilisk. This is really weird. This is really, really weird. Gallant Calvary is still really good. Do I want a three color? No, I don't think so. I think dagger back basilisk is just good defensively. We're looking for huge dudes, though. That's the big thing that we want, is the huge dudes. So, I think Thornhide Wolves partially fills this. Yeah. Maybe, actually, yeah. I mean, we're not going to be picking any of these other things, for sure. There's been so many artifacts in these. I have a real blindness to artifact a ton of the time. Alright, well, there's our second Forsaken Sanctuary. Boy, our mana is nice. I think we'll probably not run Infectious Horror. I already have one Wall of Iron, so there's no reason to get two. I think maybe this for the value. I don't know. Wall of Mist, always good. Duress and Sovereign Bite. I can sideboard a Duress. Ooh, baby, I think a Colossal Dreadmaw is precisely what we want. Oh, yeah, there's like, there's no nothing else we would ever want other than a Colossal Dreadmaw. Get in here, man. What's Rabid Bite? Oh, that's right. It's a good card, but we're here to ramp to the big man, huh? Too good not to take, right? I mean, we already have some dogs. I don't think I need to go dog heavy. I should go strangling spores. Looking for huge dudes. Huge duties. Ooh, declared dominance. We sure liked that card, huh? Pure blood may wheel. I think declared dominance is it, man.
Hmm. Get the head out of there. Oh, I forgot I first picked Gaspark Twins. Man, that's great. From a graveyard. That's great. We can just target their dudes. Ooh. Ooh. Probably not this. Probably this. This seems good. If I can just if I can just get more creatures. Mm. Not a Druid of the Horns, I don't think. I think we don't we don't do the Druid of the Horns. I think we just Colossal Dreadmaw it up. I think our Saturn Enchanter is probably not gonna make it. Probably not gonna make it. It's pretty sad. Colossal Dreadmaw. Get the big boys in there. Bog Stomper. If I if I peel this puppy out, what what just happened? Peel that out. I don't think we're I think we're just not running the Satter. I mean, do we have that many? Have that many enchantments? I think we have two, and we might not be running either of them. Dude, the big fatties, man. Let's get the big fatties in here. Cobb Waltz. I can actually see me running this. Maybe I do take the plummet, though. I don't really have any reach. Does it matter, though? I mean, I'm going to be stomping through like crazy. It's going to be amazing. Cobb Waltz. Oh, I should have taken the fountain. Fountain would have been the best play. I literally, I just blanked out and was like, well, I'm not running an artifact deck. That was, that was just a, that was newbie of me. Oh, God. Do I want a Tranquil Expanse? Does it really matter that much? Do I have that much white? I think I want the Highland game. Oh, ho, oh, he peels it. Rock's Oracle is so good in our deck. Titanic Growth, unlikely to be run. Will I, will I actually run more dogs? Am I main decking a plummet? No, I just think I'm not. I think I'm just like beating down. There's more dogs. There's just more, more, more big, thick creatures at the end. Macabre Waltz, maybe. Infernal Coma Danger we tilt this turn, maybe. Alright, we have another we have another ramp deck. Hell yeah. All right, let's 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 cut some things. How, actually, how many do we have? We have forty-one. We only need to cut one thing, really. Am I that good? Whoa! I feel like there were some obvious cutaroos too. This is a nice feeling deck. This is good looking. This is just very, very pretty little deck. Probably a dog. Whenever you gain life, each opponent loses a life. Do I have any way to gain life? I guess with a vampire neonate. I mean, there's three sources. Rise from the Grave, I actually think, is pretty... That doesn't make any sense in here. Because, I mean, I would rather just have another huge creature, right? Yeah, I think that's right. How many creatures are we running? A lot? 17? Yeah. Wait, I have another Colossal Dreadmaw? What's that doing here? Get in there. I was wondering where my other Colossal Dreadmaw is. Now, there could be an argument made that the... Actually, I probably don't need two Talons of Wildwood. That's probably the one I cut. Yeah, that's probably correct. 
I think I needed one more ramp card to be really happy about this. I have a lot of mana fixing, which is nice. Uh, this. Okay, do we need two planes? One plane seems fine for one card. I wish I have two blacks, so I have seven. Actually feels really good. I think that's actually the correct mana distribution. Because right now I have eight sources of black. And then I have nine sources of forests. Is that right? Maybe we need one less swamp. No, I think that's actually correct. I think this is actually okay. Alright, here we go. This, this deck feels okay. It feels okay. I think the, the big error that was happening is that I was trying to force it too early. I think that fountain would have been really nice. I need to have a few more defensive cards in here. If only I'd taken that other Luminous Bonds. Whatever, we got three Elvish Rejuvenators, man. We're powerful. We're a powerful person. We're a powerful bear. Okay, so what would the play even be? This is actually a this is a fine thing. Our opponent's going first. We can play the turn one vampire neonate. Turn two, we can gain life. I actually think this card is ridiculously good. I believe pretty strongly this is a very clear key. Well played. Nice. All right. Everyone's going to be pinging everyone in these turns. Salty Stormtrooper, I actually literally don't understand what you're even saying. Picked up so we could use it with a Satter and then cut the Satter. What card are you talking about? He took your Rejuvenator? The, uh, li like, the drafts are independent of each other. Like, we're not drafting from the same pool in MTG Online. Or MTG Arena. Alright, so we're going to slam this down. We're going to do this. And I think invariably... Get no lance. <sighs> have you ever have you ever done MTGL? Oh yeah, that's where I originally did. Udells and Udells of Draftings. Alright, we are probably actually completely fine. I mean, we missed a land drop, but it's fine. I, I was one of the few people that actually just did not mind the interface and managed to be gathering online that much. It made, like, very precise sense to me. Two, three, four, five. Great. Go 
Colossal Dreadmaws. Why don't I attack with this guy first? That was actually really dumb. A lot of times, it doesn't matter if you cast it first because he just doesn't have any other humanly possible play. But, woof. Well, that's good. Well, that's good. Alright. Fuck! That is annoying. Alright. Because this dealt its damage to me... Uh, I think I just jump here. No, I should probably take the four. Even though he has some pingers and low on mana. I could have just blocked with this. Wait, what? What happened in my brain? Why did I not block with this? I should have just blocked with this. What the fuck was happening? Whoa! My brain broke for a moment. It was tapped? Okay, alright. My brain is li it literally broke. Like, I looked at this and I was like, why is this even on my board? So, I think we just play the Colossal Dread Maw, which will probably slow things down. A good chunk. This is a really annoying bugger. But I think that even so... I just start jamming in with a whole bunch of dudes. Like if I peel my luminous bonds and just lay it on that death touch guy, we are in grand old shape. Okay. I'm just gonna swing in with everything. Attack! I'm gonna have to swing in with these two dudes. He's obviously gonna block the death touch with my Colossal Dreadmaw. That's okay. I'm just gonna play Thorn Hide uh, Wolves on the backside so he can't really attack with the Epicure of Blood. does not have very much good stuff in his hand. So the ability for me to just continue to... Ugh. Ooh, that actually hurts a lot. That hurts a lot. Ooh, that hurts a lot. Okay. Oof. We're about to get Epicure Blood Neonated, dude. Okay. But at the very least tells us some information that he, he... He's been doing a number of things that would indicate that he has some fear. I mean, we're still definitely in really bad shape. This combo is, like, hilariously effective. And these are all commons, too. Like, you can draft this pretty easily. I don't even know what I need to be able to succeed. Not that. Oh, shit, I didn't... I think we only missed this once, but still, I think it's, like, ridiculously important. I think we just lose this. I think we literally just lose. Too 
much land. Oof, this is dirty. I'm really in the mood to play some just aggro donk stuff and just like bash in and win. <laughs> I think I'm just going to do that for the final draft. Force it a little bit for sure. <clears throat> Unless we get some ridiculous bombs. Yeah! Die. Oh, these dogs, dude. We don't quite die, but we, we get damn close to it, man. We get damn close to it. Like, a way we could win is if we draw the card that forces him to, like, fight us. Assert dominance or whatever it's called. Because he can't, he can't attack into this. Oh, shit, I fucked up. No, I didn't. I'm not using this to block anyways. If I didn't use this life gain thing, um, well, it, in this turn he can tap this to make me lose a life and have him gain a life, and then these two procs, so I have to use this at some point. To heal myself to four, so I just did that right now. So, if this Daggerback Basilisk can get the Come At Me Bro ability, I can force all these things to block, deal one damage to everything, and punch through, and then I can begin to start healing with the Vampire Neonate myself. Does that ends the whole game, doesn't it? Mm. Ooh. All right, now we're dead. Ah, uh, well, he had lethal, but you won't kill his neonate. You can just tap him for a box. If you're talking about the force everything to block thing, then yes, it would kill it because it has death touch. So he just it he just pings it for one damage and it dies. Just pings it for one and it dies. Oh, these last few games have been rough. I liked our first draft the best. Man. Does this have anything good to it? Your opponent goes first. Uh, this is not a spectacular hand. It's a little better. Even it's forced to block, it can't block if it's tapped. Yeah, no, sure, but then I have a Neonate up, and then I live because we just trade the pigs back and forth. The important thing is killing his Epicure's blood. But look who has the Epicure of blood now. And if I got into that situation, that was like the only way that I could be saved. Hey, look at this. No ramp, but who plays units, huh? I really kind of need to just get four mana spots out of the way. I just don't need four mana spots. I just don't need four mana spots. Ouch. 
Hey, we got a planes. Let's go ahead and hide that. Alright, my wolfie's coming out. It's dog time, dude. <laughs> this game's either gonna end horribly. Or he just whiffed harder than we did. Alright, so we will chuck the Epicure of Blood. Boy, one Colossal Dreadmaw. Glad they didn't impact the board much anymore. Hey, look at that inexpensive life gainer. My bots have been cruel to me. They've been cruel to me today, man. It just got really quiet. Huh. Doesn't seem like the best idea to attack with the wolves. I think we're gonna have one of these stale games where my neonate or my neo gaff is gonna win it for me. Hello, I'm a colossal dread bomb. She's attacker. See, if I attack, he double blocks, and yeah, actually, that's fine. I was like, oh, obviously, I don't want to do that, but I'd actually be okay trading the wolf for that thing because I, I, I pretty much feel like this game's gonna stale out. And I think I have the larger creatures in my deck. Wait, what? No. You're kidding. Well, it's good to have you here, man. That would have been good. That would have been good. Alright, here's my board. Alright, we are staled out. If he liches caresses the Colossal Dread, I am bonked. That's pretty cool. That sucks. This draft, like, feels way worse than I feel like it is. Two attackers, no attackers. Because he can swing with this, and I'll double block, and then we'll all, we'll all lose things. There's only black available. I was, I was, I, like, I'm amazed that inside of me I felt like this was going to go well. I was like, oh, all right, we got our three Elvish Rejuvenators, man. We have our Barkadong. We got our Guard Bark Face Smasher, man. My turn? Well, guess what? Pinging for two. Hiya, hiya. Yeah! Ooh, we're on the board. Oh, thank God. Alright, we got the reach. Always draft flyers. There it is. Boom. Dude, pinging for one. That's exactly how this game's gonna go. Holding the swap back for the illusion of Grandor. It's me, Scary Sean. I'm frightening. Woo! No attackers. End of the turn. He and I had the same idea. Alright, very well. Back to one at a time. Alright. Alright, here we go. You should swing with both. I encourage you. This sucks. I'm fucking sad. He's gonna buff it. He's gonna Titanic growth it. <gasps> He's not. Please animate through. Don't tap. <sighs> yeah! Steal two! Bam, 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 bam! <sighs> there he is. He's exploding. It's my turn. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This game ain't going anywhere, man. <laughs> 
The vampire neonate, he's all about it. He loves it. Oops, yeah, that's right, vampire neonate. End of the turn, man. You got one point getting deducted from your bank account of health. Ain't no loan coming soon, man. <laughs> Shit. Oh! You know what? That's fine. That's fine. You know, the vampire neonate, he's got the reach. Woo, baby! Look at this. <laughs> Come on! Oh, he's on a 17 turn clock. All right, let's play the let's play the forest. Ah! No attacks. All right, let's mark at the end of the turn, man. 16 turns left. Another ghost bark twin. block how do you block people in this game mute there we go we solved that problem all right it's only the green man all right i don't know what i need boom all right 15 turns left i've never gotten so much man in my life oh this is gonna be over before it's even started no attackers. How do I get so much land in a ramp deck? How the fuck? Alright, he's coming in. You know what we're going to do? Block with nothing. What we are going to do is we're going to hit him for one. Boom, 14. There it is. I should just draft nothing but neonates. Time to go 0 and 2 and pull it back 4 to 2. Shit. He, he is main decking Sovereign Bite. games we just got land flooded violently like i think our deck might have some issues but i'm never gonna find out what they are man we just peeled all the land Ugh. Ugh. This is a terrible keep, but I want you to know something, okay? I want you to know something. We have two Elvish Rejuvenators now. We got a pair of them. And we're gonna get there every time. Every single time. I like Manaliths more than I like Elvish Rejuvenators, man. I'm gonna take those next. Alright, this actually looks like a deck that makes sense to your pal, Sean. Oh my god, yes. No attackers. I'm starting to not be as trusting in Ramparoos.
I think I'm gonna win this game. Yes, yes, my opponent. Go 0 and 3, yes. Yes. Yes, die. Die. Yeah, I think I think I'm just not I'm not about the Elvish rejuvenators anymore. I'm a I'm a manolith man. At least that's something that we learned. Oh, I know all about this thing. Arcane Encyclopedia. Oh, baby. Ooh, a little stompy boggy man. Look at this pathetic 0-4 Drake. Oh, he's chumping it. Rocks Oracle time. Oh, look at it. It's all coming together. If I can get, like, a scary duder out, and then just keep the scary duders coming. Oh, dude, we're gonna stomp on Boggs next turn, man. Are you kidding me? Yes! Alright, I think the, the big lesson that I'm learning is that Elvish Rejuvenator feels like shit. Because you play it, and it puts all your useful draws to the bottom of your deck. Guess what? I like to play in main phase one. Boom, stomping in the box. Yes. Attacking with my dwindled man. This this is how it's supposed to feel. Yeah, Elvish Rejuvenator, it says look at the top five cards, put a land on the battlefield, put the rest on the bottom of the library. <laughs> it's the fact that it puts it to the bottom in a random order that, that hurts. Because it's basically taking all my useful cards and chucking them to the bottom. I did not think about that until I was sitting here drawing none of my useful cards. Ugh. Oh. Did you see that? Did you see that responsible mulligan? Any, anyone? Did you catch that? Didn't mulligan it. Alright. I think we've had more success this game with not having Elvish Rejuvenators in there. Alright, well, it's L. It's our good friend LSD. All right, so L. Oh, she's blue black control. Uh oh. It is a good day to die. All right, let's let, let's let's take a gander at what cards we're never gonna see for the rest of this game. We're never gonna see. The other Elvish rejuvenators. Hell yeah, they're gone. Yes, that's how we do it, man. <laughs> All right, the, the sound's gone. It's just me. A Gumed Dissenter. Oh, yes. Oh, Epicure Blood. Get out there. I should go Mono Black Life Gain and just Epicure of Blood my opponents to death. Winnis has been about half a year. Hey, fellas. Hey, Winnis. Playing against our good friend Lady L right now. Elvis Rejuvenator, Rejuvenator stepping on the heads of his buddies. Sad man, it's tragic. And we're back with that music. All right. Let's hit it with that. Let's hit it with that combat step, huh? Creature dies, return to the battlefield, tap under its owner's control. I, sh I don't get, I don't care. 
does nothing for me. Alright, so... because that's how we do it every time. Bam. Plop of planes down. Oh, it feels good. I think maybe I strangling spores the 2-2 and just keep the pressure up. And it's quiet again. Bjor says I subbed only to beg for an invite. Well, Bjor, welcome. Or Bjor. Um, uh, there's a ton of people in this chat that have beta keys. Anyone have a beta key they can throw to Bjor? I used up all of mine. It's fine. It's fine. A pure blood. It's just a life gain stick now. No block. Let's take it to Ouch. I really don't have green. Weirdly enough, I think I actually just... No, resolve it. That's fine. Alright, end combat. Weirdly enough, I think I actually just run out this little guy. <laughs> now I can't play my Colossal Dread Mommy. This is so sad. Oh my god, we're blowing it up. I mean, I, I think I just shot the basilisk, right? Oh yeah, of course I'll do this trade. It was a good trade for me. Look at this. I heal, and I hurt. Actually happy to see that. My client's starting to like lag. I don't know what's going on. I don't know if it's like a server thing. No attacks. We finally have a 6-6 six, six with trample. We have three large trampley guys. Oh. Oh. Please, LSD. Haven Wind Mage, don't care. Don't need a plummet if you have nothing but large, swollen, trampley man on the ground. Fucking excuse me? I don't think that's very good. Let's play another Dreadmaw. You know, I'm just gonna play lands out now. Doesn't matter to me. I'm only ever drawing lands for the rest of my life when I play this deck. Boo! Alright, we're going Boros Aggro. This is sad. He, he leaves the 2-2 back. How responsible, responsible. <gasps> Excellent! Excellent! Stop moving around! In you go. Bam! There it is. Slaying. Laying in and slaying him. Sorry, Lady L. So I guess she's gonna have to have something magical on this turn. <gasps> I don't believe in magic. I believe in luminous bonds. Actually, I don't even need this, right? I can just swing with the whole team. Seems good. He technically has some good blocks that he can do. But, um, this puts him in a rough position. And now I save Luminous Bonds for even more guaranteed. Little circumstance around me. Yep.
Perfect. Yes! It only takes one large green man. Since when did I drop to silver and limited? Yeah, I think it was pretty good and limited. I'll burst into tears the day I get two losses and end at two wins. Oof. Do we do it? We did it. We're keeping this, man. We have nothing. We have nothing we can do. Uh-oh, Blade GL just started a giveaway for his five beta keys. It's going down on the Discord. Discord.gg slash day9tv. Let's grab the picnic baskets and scramble boo. All right, guess what? I'm white black. I'm white black. He's falling for it hard, man. Oh my god, we are so dead. If he drafted a Johnny's Pride Mate, and right now we've seen White and Blow, oh my god, please. Thank the stars. Sure, it's fine. Get this out. Alright, what, what are we never going to get to play again? Oh, shit. These are all at the bottom? I hate the Elvish Rejuvenator. Alright guys, let's stomp the bog. And then I have declared dominance, which is great. Yeah, here I am. Look at this cute little guy. Oh, he's gonna stomp the bog and he's hungry. He's gonna eat some grass. Uh-oh. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. Eight, it would be a plus three, plus three, so we'd be able to clear the board. Um, so it doesn't really have any good blocks he can do. If he double blocks, we always kill both. I'm gonna play my doggies. Very good dogs. So bad. I like this card a lot. That creaking, anytime I hear that creaking, I'm just suddenly teleported to the... Oh wait, shit! I got a kill! Uh-oh. You can block a whole bunch of different stuff. Oh my gosh, I never thought about this interaction before. Whee. I think I actually do just run out the Elvish Rejuvenator, even though it's just a big, big shit nerd. I hate this card so much now. Alright, this is fine. So he can keep swinging in the skies and make himself a thick, a thick of Johnny's pride mate. Is that it? Yes! Stupid Elvish Rejuvenator. Why do I keep drawing this terrible, terrible card? <sighs> so 
No, it's a nine. All right, we'll get to kill a few dudes. So that'll eliminate the two flyers, but not this. Fuck, I wish I'd done this earlier. Ugh. You can also kill a small set of nerds. And do I swing in with this guy too? No, I think I just literally need to attack with this one. Ah, uh, this deck sucks. We messed up this draft. And you gotta block with everybody. I, I so wish he hadn't played this. I so wish this didn't proc on Herald of Faith. So badly I wish it. Did I actually miss lethal? Six, four. Oh, shit, we missed lethal. I'm really fucking bad. I'm so bad! Fuck! Oh my god, I'm such an idiot. Oh my god. Oh god. If we, if we put it on this guy, I was thinking so much about trying to stay alive. Because we had six, four, and four. Alright. That's what I get for pooping on the rejuvenators, man. I get the real legit pain. Oh, Ail Gerda. Maybe this? Maybe our ghost friend. I mean, there's no hope, man. I gotta swing with the two thick, thick boys. Alright, this is it. This is, this is the only way that I can see to win. Okay. Blow both of those guys down. Ooh. Wow. I guess I guess Lich's caress is it. It's just like a Lich's caress is the only way that we win, yeah. Oh my god, I'm so sad. Oh god. Oh my god, I literally threw a game. Ugh.